Hi, I'm Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle going up against Marienburg as Heinrich Kemmler. And they've got a pretty good sort of early and late game units, including the Hillstorm Rocket Batteries, which are by far the most dangerous troop. And, oh, actually, no, the uh, I reckon the Outriders with grenade launchers are going to be more dangerous. And we've got a basic army, but he's still got his initial hex race. The thing that annoys me about this army, though, is that he doesn't have any uh, of the necromancers attached to it, because the extra winds of magic that you can get from them will allow us to cast more spells. So we're not going to be able to cast them much, because, like, this, this has got no damage dealing. So, um, yeah, this is not correct. But anyway, let's go in there and do the best we can. You gotta have at least two people with um, with arcane conduit, or else you're really not gonna make use of the the vampire counts, especially in outnumbered situations like this. All right, um, we'll put this in the corner here. And hide, because we need them to take out the enemy artillery first. But we can't just charge at the artillery right at the start. They need to advance somewhat. So I think what we'll do is pop him here. And hide our troops in here. Not too blobbed up to begin with. Because if they can't see them, they will hopefully won't target them. Although I have noticed a little bit in this patch that the AI does seem to know where your units are hidden. Either that or they just are programming now to like to guess them uh, where they are. Alright. So they'll be hidden. And uh, we'll see how we go. So we can summon Krill, and Krill's not going to degrade. So we've got the advantage at the moment, but when the other army comes in... Watch the bounce power slip away. Yeah. Yeah, those grenade launchers, they're going to be the most difficult to deal with because they're quite fast. And what they can end up doing is just mixing in with other units so that our cavalry can't get at them. Uh, that'll come in handy, but we should not use it at the beginning. You want to use that when it's really slow to regenerate Winds of Magic to give that last little push. Alright, so they're sending Outriders and stuff over here. Hmm... Let me just bring in one of these. To tank the shots of the regular Outriders. I don't know what I can do about the Outriders with grenade launchers. A Wind of Death or Gaze of Nagash would be a mistake. You should have gotten a Raise the Dead. That actually could have been quite useful. It's very useful against um, Outriders. No, get that back. No, shoot. Shoot at me. Shoot at me, you bitch. Yeah, the regular Outriders, not too concerned about them. Could put a, pop a Nehek down on this, but we would be far better off utilizing Winds of Death. We don't have a lot of magic, and there's a lot of people we got to kill, and you got no killing power apart from Wind of Death. So, I mean, I could pop it down there on Cavalry. I don't think it's a good idea, though. How dare they ignore me. Okay, just wait until they advance enough. I guess what I'll need to do is just try to delay this as much as possible, take out the enemy artillery, and then just try to find a way to catch them. At least they're exhausted. So if you have a look at their speed, 84, 95, 94. So we can catch them, but we need to catch them away from their troops. There's no point fighting them in melee when they're mixed in with halberdiers. This sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it, so I'll just sacrifice the, the least important of our units. I'm not going to heck that. Alright, we go now. Heinrich 
Alright, send in another one in here to help. There's actually... Good, because, yeah, the grenade launcher ones are in here. Those are the ones we need to take out the most. Yeah, you're dead. Good, that'll be their artillery dealt with easily enough. And then we need to get these guys to get rid of the Outriders with grenade launchers. Specifically. Alright. Can we get a good wind of death in there? Not yet. Don't worry about the, the war wagons, they don't matter. Okay. Oof, that's not good. Alright, maybe we can get one in there with all the missile units. Ah, shit, I gotta concentrate on this as well. But the sooner we cast, the sooner we can start recharging. Alright, start moving these guys out now. It's okay if Krill gets killed. Alright, let's pop that down there. Hopefully we get a load of kills. Yeah, that was, was alright. For Wind of Death, that's alright. Okay, now we got to get rid of the Outriders with grenade launchers. Just leave Krell there, that's fine. How's this guy here still alive? Okay, those are just regular Outriders, but still... Where, where are the other ones? Are those there? Sure where it is. Alright, good enough ma magic for another one. What are we gonna do it on? There's great swords in here. Wait for them to get just a little bit more concentrated. Does he have Master of the Dead? Okay, cool. Yeah, he needs that. Go after the Outriders there. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I think we should go for these great swords. I don't think the guns are really doing that much to us. Uh, but then again, if we go for the missile units... Ah, oh, I just see with all these fucking trees in the way. Alright, I'm gonna go through there. See how that goes. Good, that was a good wind of death. I didn't inflict that much friendly fire on ourselves. Cool, get rid of those outriders. Still, I don't know where the grenade launchers have gone. Because we certainly didn't wipe them out. Bouncer power's almost even. Okay, if they've shattered, good enough. Get back over here. Okay, it'll be a while before our next wind of death. At least we got rid of a lot of great swords, so it's going to reduce the amount of damage being done to us. Did we actually get rid of the Outriders with grenade launchers? Because I just don't see them. Alright, let's pop it down now. Because if we get a, another good wind of death, this might be enough to start a massive rout. It's possible it's actually hidden. Because it's the Outriders with grenade launchers that I'm looking for, not just regular Outriders. Don't worry about it if that unit gets wiped out. I actually go over there. Yeah, I don't see him anyway. Alright, we got 23 wins of magic. After the next cast, it's gonna recharge really slow. This is why you need another Necromancer in your army. Plus, having the Vigor Mortis would have been really handy as well. Alright, 
Alright, those outriders are gone. Good. Alright, I think the next car should be down through here. Here we go. Okay, they didn't get so many kills that time, but it got important kills that so we... Bouncer power's in our favor now, but it can still turn away from us. So our recharge rate, yeah, really slow, and I've already used up the power stone. But these guys here, they're doing well, just picking off the stragglers. Just try to keep them concentrated in here, because they're, although slowly, regenerating thanks to Master of the Dead. Doesn't matter if Krell gets killed. Next Wind of Death, if we get one, would be here. Yeah, I don't know where those Outriders with Grand Launchers are. We must have wiped them out at some point and just not seen it. Alright, it would be good if Krell doesn't get wounded. He's still got a lot of regen that he could do, so we'll just get him close to Heinrich Kemmler so that he can get regen. Because he's the only one that's going to be good against these heroes. Okay, good. He's getting regen again now. They're getting bogged down while they're shooting at us. Take out the stragglers over here. And I don't really want to be fighting the swordsmen. Just try to pull through them. I don't think that actually does anything with the uh, melee attack bug at the moment, but. So, not melee, uh, weapon strength bug. That's fine. Alright, looks like we can get another non-overcast of Wind of Death, but I'll just be patient, because we don't need it right now. And good, he's, he's still regening. That's what we want to see. And there's the army losses. Cool, I didn't even need that last wind of death. So now we can use our magic to restore our numbers a little bit. Specifically with the most damage of them, because they'll be they'll take the longest to regen to um to replenish. But yeah, that was a pretty tough one. We won it in the end, but if we had just... There's so much that could have gone wrong. It's not like, oh, just cheese, no problem. Because, like, those Outriders with grenade launchers could have killed half of our forces. The Hellstorm rocket batteries or the mortars could have killed half of our forces. Their infant... It, like, our infantry could not have beaten their infantry in melee. We had to use Wind of Death. We absolutely had to. So every cast had to be as good as possible. And we only had... We had four up our sleeves, but we only used three of them. I don't know which ones are part of the Force March Army or not, so just run all of them down. Alright, try to get them all together so they get the Master of the Dead buff for regen before we cast any uh, Hex to bring any of them back to life. Won't worry about bringing the Hex Wraith back because I think we're in friendly territory, so we should be getting replenishment. But, for example, this unit here, it can't replenish. Sorry, it can't replenish to full. Is this what I meant to say? I'm not going to overcast it.
Alright. Come on. What are we doing next? Yeah, just keep healing that. Whichever one's got the lowest number, that's what we need to regenerate. Plus, if we got this here... Hmm... I wonder... You can cheese it a little bit, but it's kind of tricky to do. Let's see if this works. This <laughs> is kind of stupid, but... Need to cast something. Yeah, there we go. It worked. Just to get that little bit of extra healing. Oh shit! Now I can't do it. So what I did there was I just casted it when it was just out of range, and then when he starts casting it, you just hit uh, press backspace, so it cancels it. But you still get, you still get uh, this one here, which resurrects 56 hit points. So I'll do it again, just so you know. I'll teach you it. Just out of range. Like, only just. Cast. Starts to cast. Then cancel it, backspace. This gets deployed, and then you can just do it again. Actually, I don't know if, if this situation here, we actually have to be in... Uh, out of range? Yeah, see, we had to be out of range. I, I couldn't uh, cancel it that way. You have to be out of range in order to do it. So that was actually not as good as me just casting a bunch of hex. But anyway, that's done. So yeah. If you want to cheese it, cast something that's just out of range. Because then you can actually uh, stop it from casting. And still get the bonus. So it looks like two, three units got wiped out. But maybe, hopefully this one here gets revived. Because that one's got the most experience. None of them got revived. But this army here got wiped out. And you should easily be able to finish off the rest of them. Yeah, you're definitely going to need replenishment. Ah, I see what they did there. So not only did we, you know, save Heinrich Kibler's army, but we saved this other army that was in there. Um, I don't know what you should do. Probably go for growth. I think you're going to need it. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time, fuckers.